All right, so we're here with, uh, with Tim Seat, one of my idols, one of my friends, and we finally meet. That's the best hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus. <laughs> it's episode 10. This is my episode. Uh, no, <laughs> I tell you, that's a pretty dang good opening, but I think we can do a little bit better. I've traveled the world. And right here in South Dartmouth, we found the best customers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's even better. Let's just give, but let's just give it one more try. So exactly what do you call these guys that are working uninsured and not bonded? I mean, like profitable. <laughs> but Monica and I, we really like this one. Just don't tell Hillary. We're just starting filming. We made him do the bucket talk a little early. He got me in the first day on the bucket talk. Uh, well, he, he told me it was going to be last day, but <laughs> it's all good. We're on his job site, Providence, Rhode Island. A couple guys working in the background. Dane Carlson's doing the filming. Hey, y'all. This is a project that we took on. Uh, a designer had contacted us. They were looking for paint finishes. Uh, we've worked with this client before in the past, but this is our second project for them. And, uh, so it, basically this is like a remodel. Um, they redid some of the trim. It looks like they took out some of the old cabinets. What we have back here is all brand new cabinet boxes. Um, all the cabinet boxes have been finished on site. Uh, all the doors and drawers that you see missing, those we took back to our shop and we do those. They get an in-shop spray finish. Are they done already? Yeah, those are complete. They're actually sitting there just carrying away, waiting for us to finish the on-site work so we can bring them back and install them. And we'll All right, tell me what you did in there. So here we are. This is the uh, the main bedroom uh, of the house. And um, in here, basically, full paint job. Um, it was The ceiling was through drywall, so we had to do a little patch in there, a little skim coating. But, um, the nice thing I think I like what they did in this room is the ceiling is actually the only different color. The ceiling is cloud white and the trim and walls are actually the same color. It's aesthetic white, but there's a different finish. You've got matte finish on the walls and you have a satin finish on the uh, trim and built-ins. Again, um, the built-ins here, uh, we painted the boxes in, in, uh, on site. All the doors and drawers again are at our shop. Yeah, we'll bring them back after the, after the electrician's been here. Final coverage and thing, give me last week. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Touch it up. Yep. All right, what do we got, so Mr. Here Nathan? We here we are in the uh, the main bed, the bathroom, and uh, you know, as I said before, you know, as painters working with other trades, we kind of get to a point where we have to let them do their thing before we can finish our thing. So that's kind of where we are now on this project. Um, so there's going to be, I guess, some glass here. There'll be some little trim molding pieces that we'll have to paint when we return. Um, but the vanities, those were all sprayed in place. That's the iron ore color that we've seen in other areas of the house. Again, the, the, the doors for those were sprayed at our shop, and we'll return those when we return. So here's just a quick selection of the products that we used on this particular project. Bin primer is always our go-to because of its awesome adhesion and great sandability. Um, cabinet coat is one of our favorite finishes for trimming doors. Uh, we just love the finish it gives and the durability. On this particular project, we weren't able to get all the colors needed in the cabinet coat, so we went ahead and tried out the command for the first time, and we were super, super impressed with it. Uh, Promar ceiling paint, that's our go-to. Always like to use that when it's available. And Duration by Sherwin Williams. The matte finish is a really, really slick finish to have on walls when you're not looking for something too shiny, but you want to have some good durability. And caulking wise, caulking we always use. The, this is this is our go-to. I won't really use anything else. This is the Sherwin Williams 1050. Dries quick um, and it cleans up super, super nice with the pretty boy. This stuff in water is our go-to when using any caulking, as well as cleaning our brushes. 
This was another uh, piece of equipment we picked up this year. Um, one of the things is we're always trying to make our work environment as healthy as possible and we're always trying to improve air quality. So uh, in the past we've just used air movers, but this year we picked up this uh, Blue Dry Air Shield 550. And what this does is through here it sucks in any pollutants in the air or uh, dust and it filtrates it through a three-part fil three filter system. So we have one filter here and then this is actually a double carbon filter that the air travels through and then it discharges clean air. So one of the benefits of Command and one of the things I really liked about it was that it's sort of an all-surface use product. Um, what really sold me on it was when my rep told me that it could also be used as a, a, a top coat on floors. So as you see here, we were able to use it for the newel post, the rail, the spindles, all the treads, risers, and stringers all the way down is all Command. Speak to, you know, the enjoying yourself when you actually like go into business for yourself. It doesn't even have to be into business for yourself, just something that you throw yourself into that you enjoy. You know, for sure. that you like have a passion for. Well, that's just it. I mean, not all of us can be self-employed, right? We can't all. We got it, you know. So, but I think when you hit the point is like you gotta have passion. You gotta have some like whether it's a hobby, a sport, or something. There's got to be something else aside from what you do to make a living. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And uh, can't be that all day. Point, you know. Oh yeah. All right, so this is a historical home here in New Bedford that uh, this past summer, um, this house was in really, really rough shape. It was ready for a paint job, and uh, we came in and basically did the whole exterior of the house, all the trim, all the siding. On this particular project, we used um, Sherwin-Williams Rain Refresh. That was the first large-scale project we used that, and it uh, came out really nice. I'm really happy. So here's a house that we painted. Uh, it's right around the corner from my shop, and it was painted about four or five years ago. And uh, funny story is when we painted it, the customer had six months to pick the color. And when we painted it at first, she absolutely hated it. She was really upset. And then everybody in the neighborhood started complimenting on how great the house looked. And uh, the next day she told me, I love the color. Sweet. All right, our first lunch together. We got a little spinach and pepperoni. You got a pepperoni and barbecue. And you got the, oh, we did the Hawaiian. But hey, hey, Sam. Yeah. Yep. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Toast here? Oh, for sure. <laughs> supposed to use your beer. Oh. All right, let's do it again. There you go. Let's do it again. Hey, good seeing you, man. It's a good time. Episode right. 10. Hey, peace yo. Hey, yo. Peace. All right, so welcome to the Bucket Top the Contractor's Confession. <laughs> 10 gallons or 15 gallons in the truth. 15 gallons of truth. 15 Come. gallons of truth. And sponsored by Pretty Boy. I can the paint cleaner for all your paint cleaning needs. Prettyboy.product.com. All right, Nathan O'Lee. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, brother. You're welcome, man. Uh, it's a pleasure. And so, how did you get started? Was your dad a painter? Or no, or? it was actually my uncle. Uh, my uncle is a master carpenter, highly skilled, and uh, he took me in uh, when I was like a teenager and taught me a lot about carpentry, but I was always drawn more to doing the finish work, and that's where I found myself exceeding and excelling, I should say. And uh, he really gave me that opportunity to put the finish on a lot of his projects. And then you got into business with your brother, you said? I did. So uh, when I first started my company, it was with my younger brother, um, who's a carpenter. And uh, we were more of like a home improvement type company. We did everything, you know, flooring and, and painting was part of what we did. Um, and then when we parted ways, I continued on and stayed painting. And uh, it's, been, it's been very good to me. That's excellent. So now you got, well, you got two guys working for you now? I do. Right now, currently, I have two guys. I'm very happy with that. I think that's, that's you know, after uh, 13 years in business, 14 years, um, I've tried different things, tried different ratios, and uh, the me and two guys is the perfect ratio. All right, yeah. <laughs> Here we are at South Dartmouth. Uh, this is one of my my uh, stores, my go-to stores when I'm in the area. This is Kevin, his manager over here. How's it going, guys? He takes care of all my needs, all my paint, then more stuff, and uh, uh, we're always good to go.
This episode of Pretty Boy Pros is sponsored by Painters Emporium. Importers of fine Australian paint equipment. PaintersEmporium.com What do you got here? This so, is all can be yours. This is what it looks like in between jobs, you know. We're a little yeah. messy, but we try to stay as organized as we can. Look we got, it. you know, the Fez tools, the marker, the surge prep. We got all our sanding uh, pads for both of those. Nice. We've got Titan, Titan, Draco, Draco. Uh, you know, each one serves a different purpose. We've got brushes and stains and paints and hot cloths and. What do we have here? Hold on. We got Dane. Hey, yo. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, we got the pretty boy. Pretty boy supply with all our other supplies. I like that. Uh, Mama always said life is like a gallon of paint. You never know what you're going to get. You get it open. <laughs> That's why we make the clouds, pick the colors. If not, it's the painter's fault. We never get our second check. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. What's all up, right, guys? Here. So we're here in my shop. Uh, my sort of makeshift spray booth, but it gets the job done. Um... So these are actually the uh, cabinet door fronts for the project that we were on yesterday in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, so we'll be delivering these next week. They're totally completed. Uh, this is the cabinet coat. Really happy with the finish on this stuff. And this is the command? No, this is actually cabinet coat. The oh, cabinet that's, coat, you're yeah, right. Like yeah, we yeah. discussed, that's usually yeah, yeah. our, our go-to, uh, but because of you know the shortages, that was, we went over to the command and we were, we were just as happy, so it worked out, it was awesome. So we got the best coffee milk New England has to offer here, Arruda's Coffee Milk. What is it? Arruda's. Arruda's? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Best for the best. <laughs> best for the yeah. best, Bri. All right, thanks, man. <laughs> you got it. These are Charisse rolls. This is Portuguese sausage inside Portuguese bread, and that's all fresh from bakery. If you, if you go to Long Island, oh, sorry. Do it again. Don't interrupt me, sir. I only work with professionals. Uh, where do we get these from? What, what area? Uh, Fall River, Massachusetts. Oh, that's where yeah. uh, Phil Gibson's from. All right. Yeah. Episode small. four. Floor. Yeah, both floors. Uh, total repaint. Taking out uh, any wallpaper and yeah. you know, skimming the walls, getting ready for paint. All the trim will be stained, uh, natural stain, but, you know, so we'll be doing uh, just the walls and ceilings. What are you going to use on the trim? I, we're just going to leave it. He's just, you know, he, he doesn't, he doesn't want to do touch it. Yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. One of the great things about working for past clients and clients that you have a, uh, sort of a rapport with is that this guy knows the particular work I do and how I am. And he's made it very clear to me if that if it's not on the contract and it's not something that we discussed and it comes up and it needs to be addressed, he's really made me feel comfortable that I can just take care of it and be all set and he'll be able to just pay me at the end of the job. That's, that's only a couple minutes. Not even. Yeah, wow. Not even. Look at that. Nice and clean. Just a few shots of this pretty boy in a pump sprayer. It's been sitting for a few minutes. I mean, look at the difference. Look at this. I'm not even using... Uh, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> Back into bed for today. We're going to get another, uh, have another meal with the crew. We got uh, Dan Carlson. We got yeah. Tim Seaton. Tim Seaton's here. here. We got the guys from my the crew, Jam. Justin and Scott. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna have some D and B burgers. Burgers. So many burgers. The Painter Channel. <laughs> the first sight of uh, naval battle of the Revolutionary War and uh, May 14, 1775, and it was out there somewhere. <laughs> Ralph Hank. This is the first guy that died in the Revolutionary War in America. 
Uh, what side does this thing shoot from? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jerry, grab the flag. We gotta load the sprayer. Jerry, grab the flag. We need a clean shot. <laughs> the British are coming. The British are coming. Uh, tell me a little bit about your family. All right, so uh, I've been married for going on 13 years. Awesome marriage, great partner, very, very fortunate to have such a supportive and wonderful woman in my life. Uh, you know, she was one of the ones that was really behind me when I wanted to start my business. You know, she was like, she knew I had the talent, she knew I had the drive, and she, you know, and she really was like, you, you deserve more out of a lot of life than just working for somebody, you know, and uh, with my, you know, my abilities and my drive, I was able to make it happen. And you have a uh, one kid, right? Uh, one daughter, yep. And that's that's another special. Uh, it's it's great. You got two special ladies, you know, in your life. And uh, my daughter now is 11, um, and her birth was also sort of like a catalyst to me having the drive to start my own business. You know what I mean? And uh, and so yeah, she's awesome. She's like one of my best friends. <laughs> and we'll show some pictures of her. Yeah. And uh, lastly, is you know, it's always nice your hobbies and, and uh, you know, or, or your past cool other things you did. One of the things that stand out is that you were in a rock and roll band. Yeah, right? man. So uh, that was a strong passion in my life. Music still is. I still create music to this day. Um, it's a little different from what I was doing in my my teenage to, uh, into my twenties. I was in a touring uh, heavy metal band. We were signed from a Boston, Massachusetts label. Um, that was just a great experience in life. We got to do a lot of traveling, got to experience recording albums, and just you know everything that goes with it. All the, all the just great life experiences. Um, and then another real strong passion, as the you know being in a band started kind of fading out. Uh, uh, extreme mountain biking is something I really enjoy to do. Uh, lift service, you take a mountain bike up on a chairlift and there's all single track stuff. Uh, my buddy XC Painter, he knows all about that. Jason in yeah. the outside Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. him and I talked hey, a Jason. lot. Jason, what's up, buddy? All right, here we go. Dane's leaving. Oh, oh, never let go, Jack. Never let go. <laughs> oh, what a great time it's been with these two guys. Awesome to have Dane along for the journey. Yeah, man, thanks for inviting me. And this guy, I appreciate everything, Brian, always including me on your stuff. You brought the goods. You brought the good energy. Certainly. And uh, you're the first uh, episode three on episode 10. Repeat customers. Repeat Those are the best. Customers. That's for sure. <laughs> Please subscribe. Pretty Boy Pros. Hit the link. Be good. Peace. Okay, if you like that video, please help support the channel by going to prettyboyproducts.com and getting yourself a bottle, a t-shirt, a shield cover. Uh, it's also being sold on Amazon. Really appreciate that. And that gives me the money to travel, keep the business open, and see more and more of these events and, and meet more of these painters that you know that we've been enjoying. So 10 episodes in the book. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends about it. All right, till I see you next. Let's do it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, 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 my boys, last night, last dinner. Mm. Wow, well, you going away? All right. <laughs> been a good time, boys. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Man. Yes, absolutely. I'm sorry about crushing your ego when we brought the other star in, and I'm sorry about that. I know you're really temperamental. I'm a confident guy. We're gonna make up. We're gonna make it up to you. No, it was awesome.